Hi everyone, we're gonna zoom in here a little bit. How is everyone doing? I see we got a few people in stream already. I'm gonna turn down this music in my ear a little bit. You guys will have to let me know. I left the music as it was last time, so it should be fine, but if it's a little loud, uh, let me know. No, I'll go ahead and turn it down just a little bit. We don't wanna have it be too, too overwhelming here. Okay. All right, so we got quite a bit done last time. We've got almost this entire row done, so I think today the goal was going to be this stuff here. Let's see if we can move the camera just a little bit. Hi, Miranda. First one in chat. There we go. All right, there we go. We'll be able to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look here. I apologize if it's a little laggy, guys. So it should uh, it should smooth out here a little bit as we go along. So uh, bear with me here. Okay. All right. Let's see. So let's just jump right in. Let's zoom on in here. Whoop, there we go. You know, we could wait a few minutes for everybody to show up. I'm good, Miranda. How are you? How was your day today? I'm gonna fix this a little bit. There we go. Miranda, how does the music sound to you? Does it sound okay? Too loud? Too quiet? What do you think? All right, let's do this one here, just while we kind of wait for everybody to, to arrive. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I just realized I forgot to put up a light. One second, guys. Oh, we're gonna put this here. I had everything all ready to go, and I totally spaced the light. So hang on one second. We're gonna get this light plugged in, and we're gonna get just a little bit more light. So bear with me here. I'll just get this plugged in. In the meantime, let's see who do we have. Hi, Victoria. I'm coming along with you today. Only a different page, different book. There you go. Hi, Cheryl. For all of those just showed up, we're going to get started in just a second. I just realized I did not have one of my lights plugged in here. So it's a little bit darker than I would like. So give me one second. We're going to get this turned on here. And I'll add just a smidge more light. So bear with me, I apologize. I'll make sure and have that on next time. The music's a little quiet, Tyler, or I'm a little quiet? Cause I could probably be a little bit quiet cause I'm not super close to the mic right now cause I'm plugging in my light. So one second, just one second, almost done. Almost done. One second. I know I keep saying almost done. Hi, Donna. So glad you're here. Just bear with me for a second. I forgot to plug in my other light here. Let's see. There we go. It's not much, but it does seem to help a little bit on the right hand side. I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yay, everybody's in here. Okay, so I did mention, um, I don't know, for those of you that saw my Instagram, let's say the music, oh, the music's a little low. Okay, we'll turn it up just a little bit. Let's just smidge here. There we go. Came back, okay, Donna. I couldn't hear very well, okay. All right, how does that sound now? Okay, so we added a couple things to the stream. So I have new notifications. So whenever we have a, uh, a sub, a uh, new subscriber, uh, I have a new little notification for that. Plus down at the bottom left-hand corner, thank you, Donna. Yeah, it's got some little sparkle on it. Chat helped me picking out uh, the colors. Um, but yeah, so we've got some new notifications. We've got a little sub count down at the bottom. It takes a little bit for it to um, 
uh, ketchup. So it's, it's, I think it's like one behind right now. We've got a little counter on the bottom right hand corner, which you can see it's a little choppy because my frame rate is not fabulous today. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, but anyway, it's a little counter down at the bottom. So if it ends up being too choppy, we might just remove it for next time. It might be too distracting, we'll see. Um, so anyway, we've got that. And then for those of you that are in here, you might have noticed we've got cool little scene transitions now too. So this was the stream starting. And then look at that, isn't that neat? I was pretty proud of that. Yes, that's why I was a little kind of dark. Yes, but it should be fixed now. And let's see. I also tried uh, a different program for some commands. Let me see. Uh, let's try. First, let's just try commands and see if they pop up. Because I made a whole list of them. And if they work. Let's see. Okay, Nightbot's working. That's good. Ah, there you go. There's the commands. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to do exclamation point. We're going to do set book and then I am going to type in world of flowers okay oh I'm so glad Yvonne thank you okay so I typed set book world of flowers now if I did this correctly it should work oh invalid variable oh, which means I didn't do it correctly okay I'm gonna have to figure that one out a little bit. Well, let's, you know, let's just put exclamation point book and see if it worked. Exclamation point book. Hmm. Nope, okay, have to fix those, but there are other ones. So, oh, we now have a lurk command for, and I know this is showing up in, in chat before uh, you're seeing it, but it, it'll make sense, I promise. Okay, so the lurk command, so if you're there, you know, you wanna let me know that you're there, but you don't really feel like talking, you can put in the lurk command, and then it will say, it will say, give it a second, there it is, quiet but here. So it'll say that, um, we've got rules now, So there's that, and let's see, oh, and, oh, <laughs> okay, Streamlabs does it too. Double the rules, I think I forgot to get rid of the one on Streamlabs. Um, oh, and then we also added schedule, in case anybody wants to check the schedule. So there's a whole there's a whole list of them, and if you want to check them, at least the ones that seem to be working for now, seem to be working for now. Uh, you do exclamation uh, exclamation point commands, and that'll list all the commands. So for instance, you can put exclamation point video, not video video, uh, and that should take you to. Uh, the link to all of my list of videos so you can catch up on the previous week's one. So, okay, I'll stop flooding the chat with those. So those are brand new. I've got to fix a couple of the other links. So there's a couple broken links, but you know, uh, it's, I can only test them when it's, when we're actually public. So I'll have to see if I can fix that. Um, oh, and lastly, the other thing that we changed per, I love Scotland too, Miranda. I went there a year ago and it was absolutely lovely rain or not because I went there in March so it was it actually snowed while I was there oh good everybody's getting the ergos off that's great uh, but yeah lastly one last thing that I changed per uh, your guys's request I went ahead and set up super chat so down at the bottom uh, where you would normally type in something you see a little dollar bill and then you can go ahead and do uh, you can if, if you care to donate you don't have to it's not required but um, I know that there are a few of you that asked about it last time so now you can uh, donate through super chat and then uh, it hangs out at the top for everybody to see and if I've done it correctly it should show up on the little ticker down at the bottom of the screen that lists the most recent donations oh Yvonne I'm so jealous 
I wanted to try to get to Loch Ness when I visited, but I was not able to make it up north. Uh, I was down in Aberdeen. I went and saw um, Slane's Castle, and we went over and saw Dune Castle. Saw a number of castles, but oh, I absolutely loved it. I actually have some pictures up on the wall here. Let me see if I can take them down. Let's see here. Okay, so I've got this one, this one. Let's see, this was Slane's Castle, or yeah, Slane's Castle, which was also the inspiration for the Dracula story. It's, it's a complete rune now, but it was like a legitimate rune uh, because it's not maintained. So going in there was, it was eerie, man. It was spooky and it was so rainy and windy that day. I have the video on my YouTube and if you watch it, I get knocked back by the, by the sea spray and all of that. This one is Dune Castle. I wanted to go there especially because it's a uh, film spot. You can see they've got like some gates and stuff up there. But they uh, filmed Monty Python and the Holy Grail there, the scene with the uh, with the Frenchman. And they filmed Outlander there and Gabardine, or no, <laughs> I saw Aberdeen, <laughs> I mixed the words, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, so they filmed a lot there. Let's see. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them up here. I'll have to go through them sometime. But Yes, I absolutely love it. It was a trip to remember for sure. Okay, well, we'll get started. I have some other things we can chat we can chat about later, but I say we go ahead and jump in for those of you waiting for me to get started here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this little pot here. We got, I'm determined to get some progress done today. Bishop Briggs. I don't think I went there. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay. Let's do. Let's do a yellow pot. I think that would. That would look nice. So, how is everybody's night? How did everybody's day go? I know it's Friday, at least for us here. I would assume it's Friday for most of you. Um. So yeah, how was your guys' day today? Or your late, your, not guys, ladies. <laughs> or guys, there's probably guys in here too. I won't assume. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and sharpen these. going to use these three colors here. We're going to use art number 15749, 157-1, and 15710. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy today, isn't it? Hmm. You know, I changed, I changed my resolution, and I wonder if it's a little too high for it to run. I think maybe we'll change it back after this stream. Thankfully, I don't do a ton of movement, so it's not uh, detrimental. I think if this was a face cam stream where you know I was, you could actually see me, then it might be different. Okay, so we're gonna use this brown in the areas where it would be shaded a little bit more. Yeah, look at that lag. Okay, there are yes, Tyler, you're here. There are guys here too. Okay. So yes, I apologize for the lag, everyone, but we're gonna switch things up next time and hopefully we will get that fixed. And next time should be Monday. <sighs> Let's see, is that a line there? That is a line, isn't it? That's not part of the plant. Okay, so this yellow will stop there and we'll do some other color on the bottom. So we're just doing this darker color a little bit on the outside. Oh god, there could be another guy there, I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna use the darker yellow, the 1571. Yeah, 
Yeah, there are so many places. I've been up since 7 a.m. Friday UK time, came home from work, nap till 10 p.m., then caught up on part two. I'm wide awake now. <laughs> awesome. Naps are fantastic. I definitely caught a nap myself today. I wanted to make sure I was bright and alert for you guys, ladies. I gotta quit saying that. For everyone. Bright and alert for the stream. There we go. We don't need to specify. <laughs> Well, hopefully I can uh, be entertaining enough. I'm so glad, Yvonne. Use my little my little brush here, our nice little yellow flower pot. I did, is it still too dark? I can move it a little bit closer. Let's see if I can move this one just a little bit here. The problem with this one I have overhead is it tends to add a glare. Okay, I think for now that's gonna be the best that I can do. Maybe I can look into adding another light. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do blue on this. And we are going to use 15733, 15763, and, oh, I already said that one, and 15730. So we're gonna go ahead and use those. Let's see. We haven't seen Mia in tonight. Maybe she'll swing by a little bit later. Okay, we're gonna go darker there and then a little bit lighter towards the middle so that we can make sure we can blend in our other colors. We're gonna go here. Mia, there you are. I was just wondering about you. Let's see, I'm just wondering how laggy this is. It's real bad. I suppose we could always adjust something and then restart the stream. I don't know. Is it real laggy for everyone else? Hi, Kimmy. Like, is this pretty intolerable how laggy it is? Man, that's jumpy. Way more jumpy than it was before. Yeah, I think I need to change that back. I don't know. Let me know. Is it tolerable? Do I need to... Do I need to restart the stream? Only three days in, we've got definitely got a few regulars. <laughs> well, Mia, I was letting everybody know earlier, uh, like you requested last time, I was able to get that super chat set up. And we've got some new notifications and some new commands. <gasps> And Jim Blackwell, hi Jim. Wow, that is so laggy, isn't it? Oof. You're not noticing the lag? Okay, maybe it's just me then. Okay, well if it gets laggy, let me know. Maybe we can restart the stream and I'll adjust a few things. I just don't want it to be impossible for you guys to, to watch. I mean, like I said, thankfully I don't do a lot of movements but I'm not quite sure like if my voice is choppy or not, or if it's skipping the audio or anything. So just if it is, let me know and I'll see what I can do about it. Okay, so now we're gonna do these leaves and I'm gonna do, if I just move slower, let me go. I think the lag is mostly just your computer, not the stream. So your CPU may be a little choppy, but we aren't. Okay, perfect. Well, as long as you guys aren't, then that's just fine. Okay, then we'll leave it at that. Just let me know if anything changes and I will try and do something about it. Okay, so let's see. 15738, audio is perfect. Okay, okay, awesome. Well, then it's just me. All right, because I've got like three different views of the stream up in front of me right now. So, okay. All right, well, then I'll let it be. All right, so we're gonna do 15738, 
It could be, Jim. It could be. But I have a friend who also does streaming, but he does streaming for video games. And so obviously you need a really good system for streaming video games. And he went over my system with me yesterday. Apparently my computer is not as as up on uh, streaming technology as it should be. And so, uh, yeah, it just, it's, it's processing power is not fantastic, but it does just enough. I mean, let me put it this way. I most definitely would not be able to stream video games. <laughs> okay, so we are going to use 15738, 15757, and 15756. See, and there's names. I'm starting to recognize the more you guys are in here. It's wonderful. I love it. Okay, get these all nice and sharp for these teeny tiny little leaves. I'm gonna turn on a fan real quick because it's kind of warm. So give me one second. Is it Donna? Is it your video? Is it the audio? Is it both? I'll wait for chat to keep to catch up for you can get your answer I bet it's your resolution because I can see the numbers on the pencils better than I could before on previous streams yeah that's what it is I changed my resolution to a little bit bigger number problem is is if I change the resolution back I'm gonna have to resize everything on the stream so maybe we'll just roll with it for tonight I'll try to not move super quick and then I'll reset the resolution back down to something lower so that it's not jumping as much. Yeah. So unless it's just like completely unwatchable for everybody. I usually talk to my mom right now on my way home from work, but she was sick tonight. So I played the video in the car and had some company. Oh, good. I'm glad. Hi, Amberly. Okay. So this is, we're going to go ahead and use this one here. Lurk. There we go. Audio good, lag not good. Okay, is anybody else experiencing um, Donna's video lag? Donna, is it pretty much impossible to watch how it is? I think I see, I shouldn't have messed with settings. I know better. Okay, is anybody else having Donna's issue of the video lag? Man, that is jumpy, isn't it? Mm. I wonder if I can fix this on stream. <sighs> it's good there. That's not good. Okay. Okay, yeah, because if I fix it on stream, it's not jumping on the other side of the world. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave it because I think it would completely disrupt the stream if I did that. Oh, goodness. Skip frames detected a minute ago. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm getting so many notifications of skip frames. Audio is perfect. You're just a few seconds behind. Yeah. When you move quickly, then yes, the lag is bad. But when you're just coloring, it's fine for me. Okay. All right, for the sake of the stream, I am going to leave it as is because I think, oh, see, now it's even having to catch up. I think that it's gonna be too, I think it's gonna completely mess up if I try and, I, I would have to restart the stream to do that. So, all right, I think we're gonna keep it as is unless everybody ends up agreeing that it's just completely unwatchable, but I just, I'll make a note to fix the resolution next time and just not mess with it. Okay. All right. Then I'll leave it. Like I said, thankfully we're not doing a ton of movement and if the audio is fine. Then it's easier to yeah, carry on. Okay. All right. We'll carry on. Show must go on, right? All right. Well then we'll go ahead and get started. One, five, seven, three, eight. It's the technical ask. You know, it's, it's funny. I get that aspect. I stopped short there. Um, uh, but I, I get nervous. I get nervous before stream, not because of the talking part. 
Audio good, lag bad. Oh, Donna, I'm so sorry. Okay. How about tonight, a shorter stream, unless it gets incredibly... I have a new iPad, yeah. Yeah, we might do a shorter stream tonight rather than the three hours we did before. I don't know, maybe I could stream Sunday also to make up for it. I'll have to think on that. Maybe we could do an extra stream this weekend. That way we can still... We can still try and keep on our same schedule. So I know I've been going three hours before, but maybe we could go ahead and shoot for the regular two hours and then do an extra stream this weekend. Yeah. Dang it, I'm frustrated only because if I hadn't messed with that resolution, everything would probably be fine. So, okay, well, we'll just, we'll carry on for now. As long as the audio is good, it'll let you know the colors at least. And then, um, yeah, so we'll just, we'll consider tonight technical difficulties here. Now, Jim, was that your after stream uh, donation the other day? Because if it was, thank you. It came in after I went off and I was, so, I was so surprised. My little thing went off and I was like, oh man. So if that was you, thank you so much. That was awesome. Yeah, let it roll till next time. Okay, well, Don, I'm sorry that yours is so rough. You can stream anytime I'll be here. Sounds good, Kimmy. Yeah, I, I'll leave it. I'll leave it and we'll just keep going. And yeah, maybe I'll do an extra stream this weekend. I've been debating. See, the reason I don't do them during the day is because we have the kiddos and um, you could probably hear everything. But I think maybe, maybe to make up for it, I could do maybe a morning stream this weekend while the husband keeps him occupied. And then that way, it, uh, the people over in the UK might be able to view it a little bit. Children are doing okay, Miranda. Uh, the youngest, he's got a little bit of a cold that he's fighting off, but otherwise, it's 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 pretty pretty mild. In fact, he didn't he never had a fever or anything. So as far as colds go for small kiddos, uh, it was it was pretty mild, hardly noticeable. He's just a little stuffy, so. But other than that, it's all good. We kind of had an easy day here. Hello, Beth Ann, invisible person. There you Hi, Beth Ann. There you are. Awesome. So for everybody that has showed up in chat recently, we went over some changes at the beginning of the stream. Oh, by the way, uh, this is 15757. Uh, um, we went over some changes in the stream, obviously the resolution, which has uh, caused some issues, so we'll change that for next time. Um, but if you do exclamation point commands, um, there's a couple that are buggy, but it's mostly ones that I need to fix that only I can use. But there are commands like exclamation point lurk that can let me know that you're here, but you're just listening. You're not, you know, you're not in chat. Um, there, there is, uh, you know, obviously the Instagram ones. Uh, I have rules, which are just simple, you know, be respectful and have fun. Oh, right. Sunday is Father's Day. Okay. All right. Well, then I may need to reconsider that stream on Sunday thing then, because, but he's going to be better busy with Father's Day. So let me think on it. Yeah, let me think on it. I feel like I should do a morning one occasionally, but that's right. Father's Day. Yeah, but he'll be okay, Miranda. He's he's a he's a pretty t he's he's a he's a trooper. Well, maybe not this weekend then, since everybody's got Father's Day stuff. Because around here we like to call it Father's Day weekend, and so usually you know we do the same thing for Mother's Day. You know, Saturday, Sunday, it's just kind of you know, dote on the mother or dote on the father kind of thing. So maybe we can do a morning stream next weekend. That would be fun. I don't know what we're going to be coloring then, because hopefully we'll have this one finished. But, um, yeah. There are a lot of people on Sundays already. That's right. Yeah, probably a lot of streamers do it on there. I don't know. Are there many? Uh, I don't know a ton of color. Like, I know, like, obviously there's YouTubers that post coloring videos, but are there many um, coloring live streams? I know Coloring with Claire or Color with Claire does one. Um, I think Coloring Bliss or something. Uh, does one 
This is going to be, by the way, this next color is 15756. So I know she does one, but I don't know what the regular times are uh, for, for streaming. So I don't know if I have any competition this late at night. I don't know, are there any that I'm forgetting that usually stream? I also don't know if they generally stream as frequently as, as I do, like if they make it just like a once a week kind of deal. Night is the only time I'm in big color, and there you go. See, that's that's me too, because I would usually do it after the kids would go to bed. Dads are great. Feed us some chocolate cake. There you go. Well, maybe I should make some cookies this weekend because my husband's favorite is cookies, to be sure. There are a few on Sunday streamers. Okay. All right. So this one's done. But, you know, I think for fun, let's see, where did I put it? Here we go. Yeah, I'm getting so many notifications for skip frames. I will definitely lower that resolution. I think it's just that it has a higher time processing the better resolution. That's all. Okay, we're gonna use the Wink of Stella here and we're gonna add it on the little bit of the blue part here just for a little sparkle. Okay. All right, so let's do... Okay, let's take, uh, it's L-U-R-K, Donna. L-U-R-K. <laughs> Uh, let's let's see. Let's kind of take a take a vote. Yeah, we'll see if it catches up. Exclamation point! Lurk. There we go. Now you can see it because I know that I'm a little bit of a head of chat. Um, let's see. So let, let's take a vote. Do you guys want me to work on the little papers next? Got these three here. Or do you want to work on this large plant? Or I also um, set out some stuff in case you wanted to see it. Um, I know there were a couple of people last time that were asking about um, some of my artist editions. They were saying they wanted to see some artist editions. So I pulled them out this time. So did you guys want to see those also? Or would you like to continue with, the, with our next leaf color here? Let's see. Let's do. I feel like I want to do kind of some multicolorish stuff for these leaves since they're bigger. So let's grab. Let's see. I better go, else I'll be asleep until Sunday. Don't worry about morning streaming. I'll catch up eventually. Lovely chatting to everyone. Okay, Yvonne, thank you for stopping by. And yeah, this one will be this one will be up a little bit later. And yeah. Well, uh, I'll keep everybody posted on Instagram what we decide to end up doing about the stream. Got at church on Sunday mornings. Okay, so yeah, Sunday's probably not the best choice, especially since it's Father's Day. Okay, we're going to do some red and some yellow. And let's see. Definitely some green. And some of this. I'm normally sleeping in the mornings. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, so definitely, definitely evening. You vote the plant, okay. Yeah. My friend is a huge fan of yours and you inspired her to get her ergo sauce back out in her page magical, magical jungle turned out so beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you should tell her to uh, tag me or, you know, use a hashtag in it on, or I don't know if she posted on Instagram or not, but if she did, uh, you should you should tell her to, to tag me or hashtag or something. I want to see it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do, let's do these. Yeah. I think this could be kind of fun. All right, I'm sure. I'm not sure if we'll use all of these, but 
It'll be something like this. And we'll throw in this one for good measure because I always keep this in on hand. Okay, so we're gonna start with 157-5, okay? We'll start with one of the big ones. I actually had a lot of people ask me how you color these because Wake of Stella on my wish list, it's a great pen, I love it. Um, so these leaves are kind of, kind of funny shaped and uh, so everybody's like, well, how do you color it? So I did find a way that kind of made them look like you're actually shading, shading the color. So here's what we're gonna do. I do the top here. Wink Estella is wonderful. I absolutely love it. Okay. So we're gonna color this little tip here. Oh, and this, did I say already? This is the 157-5. Hi, Andrea. The later time you do, okay, okay. Well, maybe, you know, let me think on it. I feel like we should throw in an extra one just so we can stay on time with keeping this one done, you know? All right. Continue with leaf color, okay. Yeah, because it's gonna be quite a bit of leaves. Okay, so then I color in the corners here. Bring it down and then here's the part that kind of helps this little this little peak right here kind of do like this so if you think about it on most of these leaves oh yeah the lag yeah well it'll be ne better next time I promise I'll switch things back I was I thought it was actually helping the stream switching the resolution but it most definitely did not so we're gonna switch it back to what it was Okay, so, and what it is really, it's my upload speed that I have here for our internet. So it's just not a lot of it can help. So if I lower my resolution, that should help. Okay, so you can see I put this little thing here because when the leaves are connected, um, you know, there's where, where the stem connects to the leaf, there's always that little bit of a dip. So it makes sense for there to be like some darker shadow right there. All right, then we're going to, 157-52. We're gonna blend that in with this one. I'm just going lightly here because after this, next color should be light. My older dog had an allergic reaction yesterday, but he's better now. Oh, good, I'm glad, that's scary. Hi, Christina, thanks for coming in. Drag that down a little bit. Okay. I'm going slower on this one just because we're going through it that and I'm trying to keep up with the lag here, which again, I promise it'll be better tomorrow or whenever we do it next. Okay, then we're gonna take 15757. Oh, Benadryl, yeah. Yeah, thankfully my kitty's starting to do a little bit better. Not sure if she's just getting better, if it's the medicine that's helping. But I'm glad that he's I'm glad that he's feeling better. I'm gonna kinda of bring this up at a peak again. Then we're gonna take one five seven five six. I'm kind of going over all the leaf with this too. Just like that. Okay. Oh, the treat stick. Interesting. I had a cat that once got allergic to those greenies. It made him break out a little rash on the back of his neck. Yeah, we did not give him those again. Okay, and then I'm gonna use 15710. We're 
to fill in that extra space there. Then what we can do with these two colors, 1572 and 15711, because leaves are never perfectly green, you know, we're going to take a little bit and we're just going to kind of add just a little bit of red here and there. Nothing, nothing too heavy. Just enough to give it a little personality, you know? Put that there. Then we're gonna take that 15711 non-drowsy. Okay, that's probably that's pretty good. Well at least it worked. That's good. I'm gonna add this here. I'm pushing this a little bit harder. There we go. All right, so that's that leaf. So now, and we did actually end up using like all of that. So we're gonna do the same. Maybe I can move these in frame here. Let's see. I wonder if we can take a piece of paper here. Since we're using so many on these leaves, too many pet treats made in other countries make them sick. Oh, for sure. Most definitely. Okay. So because there's so many colors for this one, we're going to do 1575. This one is 157. Five, two. This one is. I used to do the leaves for years and would very when I was very very young. Never colored them. I have issues with them. This helps. Oh, good. I'm glad, Donna. You know, and I've got a couple leaf tutorials uh, on my YouTube too. Okay, let's see. One five seven five seven. I'll tell you whatever. What what always daunted me as an artist is hands and people in general. I have a hard time drawing people. I've never mastered it. My sister's really good at it, but I uh, I struggle with people. I'm good if you want a cartoon person, but you know, get me doing some you know realistic oil painting. No way. <laughs> okay. This one's kind of hard to see, but we'll write it anyway. One five seven ten. And then this is one five seven two. And lastly, one five seven eleven. Seven eleven. Okay. Let's see, where can we put that? Looks like lime peel and chartreuse yellow. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can put it. I just want to put it somewhere where you can kind of see it, since we're going to be. And I don't want it to take up the. Okay. If anybody asks while we're doing it. Oh, most definitely. If anybody asks while we're doing it, I'll just slide it down, just because we're using so many colors for these particular leaves. So, I mean, but this is the order that we're gonna go in from dark to light. This is the main leaf color here. Yeah, 8.30, 8.30 every night, cause kids go down at eight. So it gives me plenty of time in case, you know, I was busy with the puppy, there you go. Yeah, so we'll go dark to light here. In fact, Mia, you can put exclamation point schedule in the chat and that actually, I added that. So that's got our schedule on it now. And then 157-2 and 157-11 for the little embellishment. So. That's what we're gonna do from dark to light. Put these in order here. There we go. Let's see, yeah, that's the darker one. All right, so we're gonna try and, and I do this because if I, if I try and say which pencil it is every time I grab it, it's gonna take me a lot longer to blow through all these leaves. So I have them in order here. I have them on the little list. So if anybody missed it and they need to see what it is, I'll, I'll pull it in occasionally just to remind that these, these are the colors that we're using on the leaves here. 
because I'll have to just keep going with these. And if we want to try and get these done before the end of the night. So how was everybody's Friday, Mia? We saw yours. I'm so glad your puppy's doing better. I added a little extra shadow here because the leaves are overlapping. I'm actually going to do a lot of this dark green here, the 157-5. I'll have to check out check those tutorial out. oh yeah same here I mean I I can do like the coloring and stuff I, I can do them but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have to look up other colorists and see okay how dark did they go here because my issue with drawing with coloring faces birds birds are fun and birds kind of are the same basic principle as people let's see do I have one second let me grab something real quick one second Of drawings here or colorings that I've done. I think there's a few of them. I use the same basic principle with birds. There you go, that's right, Jim. TJ, TJ, thank goodness it's Friday. Okay, so, all right, for instance, okay, we're gonna zoom out for this one for just a second. Okay, this is a watercolor bird I did. Now, this is one of Johanna's, but what I did is I um, had copied, like I made a photocopy of whatever pages and then I blew it up and I printed it out. And I took watercolor paper and I laid it over the top and I used my light box. So there's no actual lines drawn on here. It's just I could see it through, you know, with the light box and I painted it that way. So I use the same basic principle where I have, you know, a couple colors, you see it's like a little bit darker there and it's lighter there. Now this is watercolor, so it's a little bit more difficult um, with that. Let me see if I've got any other bird ones. Let's see, frog, reindeer, elephant, boat, ox. Oh my goodness, I have too many. This is actually a big pile of ones that I've laminated. Fur is also, like here, we'll do the fox. So when I did the fox, I didn't necessarily go for a super realistic, sorry for the glare, but it's laminated, super realistic um, uh, type. You can see like I kind of tried to do like lines for his tail and I definitely tried to do like some lines here and a little bit, but it's not just straight up, you know, here's, here's fur. So like I said, I don't, I definitely color more cartoony than I do hyper realistically. I find I am I am more comfortable with that. Okay, so there's a few birds in this one, but like I said, I kind of treat the birds like I do the plants, you know, darker in the corners, just, you know, drawing attention to the shadows where I need to. Uh, let's see, birds, birds, birds. Oh, this one was fun. Uh, I did this with only uh, the Tuscan Red, Prismacolor, and a blender pencil. So this was all done with a single pencil. That was, that was a challenge to myself, is what that was. And I did it, and I'll never do it again. <laughs> okay, here's some birds. Again, sorry for the glare. But you can see, I added the shadow, you know, on the edge. Basically, I think I've said it before, but you follow the organic lines of what it is that you're coloring, you know. So, you know, you got your darker here. You've got, you know, it goes a little bit lighter. You know, you just, you follow where the shadows are. And thankfully, Johanna's pictures, they're not drawn to be meant to, to done, you know, to do realistically. They're, you know, it's okay to color them cartoony. And that's the thing with coloring, too, is that, you know, you can, you can color it any way that you want. You know, the whole thing's meant to have fun. So, it's like we, we're, we're starting to let our, our kids play some video games. They're getting old enough. And I've been trying to stress to them that video games are supposed to be fun. So, if you get to the stage where you're getting so frustrated or angry that you're not having fun anymore, then there's no point in playing it, you know? Okay, let's see, that's a squirrel, seahorse. Okay, this one's sort of a bird, it's purple owl. I did kind of like gold on the edge, but again, 
I just follow the natural lines of it where the shadow would normally fall and you know just kind of follow the lines I mean she when you when you have the illustration it gives you the tools you need oh for our Doctor Who conversation here's that larger one I know I had it uh, on the uh, swatch book but yeah here's my Doctor Who version with the little <laughs> with the little uh, weeping angels there I enjoyed this one I wasn't sure what I was doing with the top one, but I was trying to make it look like, you know, the opening scenes when he's tumbling through the little time vortex. All right, there we go. It's a Halloween one, butterfly. I'm trying to see if there's any more birds. Jellyfish. We've got some mermaids. Now yeah, there's a little toucan, but the same basic principle all around. Budgies, yeah, little budgies. Let's see, polar bear. I did want to show these though. Okay, so you can just see them small, but these, and they're laminated, so excuse the shine. This is the first dragon I did in Enchanted Forest. I've much improved on my leaf technique, but I think near the end I was rushing it anyway, just because it took forever. But I always liked how I did kind of his leg to show sort of muscle, you know? Do you typically color shading dark to light or light to dark? Honestly, I do it dark to light usually start with the dark first and I know that like goes against everything that people teach you uh, but I don't know it works for me you know okay so I did another dragon and I challenged myself to this one this one is in nothing but shades of gray so Prismacolor uh, if you're familiar with them you know that it has a wide range of grays and let's see let me curl it up a little bit so it's not kind so I used the uh, the cool grays, the warm grays, and the French grays. So the cool grays is the dragon. The uh, warm gray is the border on the outside. And then the French gray is kind of the, uh, I can't find a happy medium. I keep trying to color realistic, but it isn't realistic. See, that's the thing. I had to accept that I can't color realistically. So now I just do it how I enjoy doing it. Yeah, and then we've got this one here. And then uh, I had fun with this one where it kind of looks like his breath is almost burning the page. And so, uh, there we go. And so you can see it's like starting to burn up a little bit. And that one actually ended up sort of being an accident, but it worked out and I loved it. Oh, thanks for the subscribe for the for subscribing, Andrea. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I was proud of those ones. That's just straight up me wanting to show you guys my dragons, because those took a while. The fact that I did it twice, I was always pretty proud of myself. Uh, okay, dragonfly. Okay, here's some little birds from when she did the uh, the soap. Uh, remember she did those soap covers? And so these are all the little hummingbirds. So yeah, I just kind of treat them the same principle that I treat the flowers and the uh, and the leaves. Let's see, mushroom, whale, another toucan one, whale, and whale. Yeah, that's it. So I'll, I'll take some time and show these a little bit more. Maybe next time, I mean. We got a lot of streams left, so there's plenty of time to show more, to be sure. And you know, these are all on my Instagram anyway, so. Hi Emily, I admire your colors and works. I'm coloring a drawing from Johanna's book and I have used my inspiration. Oh, well thank you, colorer, or Tabata. I think, yeah, you were in here on my first night, weren't you? You were like one of the first people in chat. Well, thank you for coming back and I am so glad that, that my, my coloring is helping you figure out what you want to do with it. Okay, so let's keep going with these leaves here. Put these back in order for how we're gonna use them. Okay, all right, focus, Emily, focus. We have leaves to color. <laughs> let's begin to focus, let's make sure that's in focus. Okay, slide this down a little. We've got these colors here. And just for those in, this is a reminder, these are all the colors that we're using on the leaves in order that we're using them. Right now we're using the dark 157-5, so I'll hold that there in case anybody wants to read it. Okay. All right, let's continue. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like I said with the birds and you know everything, I just kind of do the same thing with the leaves. I just sort of follow so many leaves. Oh my goodness, so many leaves. That's why I know I kind of rushed it near the end with those dragons, just because a lot of leaves. <laughs> I feel like that should be a hashtag. Hashtag lot of leaves. Just L-O-T-T-A leaves. <laughs> And I promise for everybody that's seen a little bit of lag, uh, I can't really fix it now, otherwise I'd have to turn on the stream, and so we're gonna fix it for next time. Things will be quite a bit uh, smoother next time. French greys, yeah, there. And I also got, like, I would got some Faber-Castell pit pens in just uh, the greys also. Uh, the, the coloring group that I was a part of at the time before I started doing a lot of Instagram, they always had um, challenges and you know a bunch of things, which I think a lot of them do, but I was very into them and I was doing them like every single week. I was coloring nonstop. Uh, and you know, I slowed down a little bit, but yes, Leafy Overload. YouTube had an update. I think it helped a, little, helped a bit. Okay, that's good. But, um, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize it had these little leaves. You know, we might go back with just the gel pen and fill in these leaves there. But, uh, yeah, so I, I have like, you know, it's like only one color, like you saw with the red tree, uh, you know, only grays or, you know, a limited color palette or like I had this one. I set up a limited color palette for myself. Okay, so this picture isn't in any of her books. What it is, it's a compilation of two pages, and this came from one of her puzzles. But I scanned it in and reprinted it out because I wanted to print color on bigger paper and make it bigger. You see it's also laminated. But she took the dragonfly one and then placed it on the flower background one. And since yellow and purple are complementary, I thought it made sense. So this is another version of the dragonfly that I did with all the yellow flowers. Oh man, nothing but yellow. That was tedious, I'll tell you. A full set of pit pens. Oh gosh, that is so nice. Those are spendy too. Give that person a hug. <laughs> Let's see. Make sure we're focused. There we go. All right. When it gets smaller, I kind of simplify some of them. Was that the Facebook group with the Johanna challenges? It was called, I, th I wanna say the group, group was called an inky obsession. I think because my original name for Instagram uh, was an inky obsessor and I kind of pulled that name from there. Now I later changed it when I kind of rebranded myself a little bit. But yeah, I think the group is called an inky obsession. I don't know, I, I assume it's still going. Um, but yeah, I haven't checked in on them recently, uh, but I, I have loads of other groups now, but anyway, yes, at the time, so the, the group is called an Inky Obsession and there were just loads of contests. She didn't like them and I said I wanted them, so she gave them to me. Well, dang, man, that's a good friend. But, um... Yeah, so they had loads of contests and everything, and I was I was always posting stuff. Because whenever Johanna would have a uh, coloring contest, I was always doing tons of those too. Yeah, see, so I've got a little notice on here that tells me when I've had skipped frames, and I've had so many. Like usually, with the lower resolution, I have maybe four to six skip frames. Yeah, there's a lot of skip frames. So we will most definitely be changing the resolution back for a next stream. But again, thankfully, it's not like I'm like dancing in front of, you know, like doing doing dance moves or something that's, you know, requires lots of moving. There's a really big group on Facebook for her. Yeah, I, I'm part of my, my main group right now is uh, Johanna Bassford, your pages. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me, God. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so I, uh, I'm part of that group there, so, and I, I have a few other coloring groups, so that's probably the main one. 
I don't interact as much as I used to, but when I have a finished picture, I do post it there and I comment on a few other people's and a lot of times um, it's more so somebody be like, oh, well, do you have inspiration for such and such page or I'm trying to do thing, like, does anybody have any ideas? So I'll be able to post, you know, because I've done so many of them. I generally have, have done a lot of the little techniques where like, oh yeah, okay, so here's how I did it on, on this one. Or um, somebody will have a technical question, like sometimes I'll have somebody that'll pipe up and be like, hey, so what do you guys know about ergo sauce? And I'm like, well, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, it looks clearer because of the resolution, but the problem is, is the processing power it takes for the resolution. And so that's why it's skipping so many frames. So I'll definitely have to lower it. Maybe I won't go as low as it was before, but I think I love that yours is running well, but um, yeah, I think it's not necessarily running well for everybody else. I'd love to be able to run it at this higher resolution, but I think my computer just doesn't have the capacity for it. Who knows, maybe in a year if the streaming really takes off, I'll get a new computer. <laughs> One that's a little bit more streaming friendly. Hannah Carlson, yeah, I love her too. In fact, I had a, I pulled out a few of her pages that I finished, one sec. Oh, let's see, let's grab these. I just had a few of them floating around because I was grabbing artist editions, ones that people wanted to see. Ah, off my headphones. Okay, there we go. All right, we'll zoom out for just a sec and then we'll go right back to it. All right, so here's a Hannah Carlson postcard little rabbit. Uh, this is Hannah Carson. This is by an artist, the illustrator, uh, Rachel Reinert. And so I did this on watercolor. And then, oh, this is another Rachel Reinert. This was Derwent Ink Tents, I think. Yeah. Okay, so here's a Hannah Carlson one. I used a stencil for the back of this one to trace all the shapes. And then I colored all of that. I wanted kind of, you know, an antique heirloom kind of look. Let's see. Are these Rachel Reinerts? Yeah, these were another Rachel Reinert. See, this one's a face that I did, but I tell you, I had to go over it so many times just to get it as dark as I wanted to. And even still, I feel like it's not as dramatic as it should be. But yeah, I'm thinking, because I did a poll on Instagram and the people that wanted a variety versus um, a variety of books versus just coloring Johanna all the time, the variety actually won out. So I'm wondering if we should maybe do a Hannah Carlson picture next. So, but you know, you guys are the ones that are regularly in chat. So versus, you know, there's, there's everybody on Instagram, but I mean, for those that are regularly in chat, if you had to choose for our next picture, would you want it to be a Hannah Carlson one or would you want it to be a Johanna one? Or should I choose a Johanna page and choose a Hannah Carlson page and then post those up? Kind of like what I did for this one where I had them choose two Johanna pictures. I could post a poll and have people vote on which page they want. You know, Hannah versus, versus Johanna. <laughs> Hannah versus Johanna. I'm funny. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not that funny. <laughs> No, but seriously, so should we just take a poll here and now, or do you think I should post it on Instagram and let people vote on the next page? Actually, I have Jeweler Box and Winter Dreams. Yeah, I've got, I've got four of hers. I don't recall the names. I don't know if she's come out with any um, since the winter one, but. Clara Markova. Say, so, Sherry, did I already say hi to you? If I didn't, I'm sorry, I missed you, so hello. But Clara Markova, I'm not familiar with hers. I mean, I don't have any of her books. What kind of style does she have? Like if you could compare her to, you know, Hannah versus, you know, like Millie Murata versus uh, Johanna, like which one would you say her style's closer to? A pole? Okay. Yeah, we could do a pole. I'll pick out a Johanna page and a Hannah page and then let the let the people decide majority rules plus i feel like it's kind of more fun 
you know, not just, you know, saying, oh, this is what we're coloring now because then everybody, you know, you're, you're invested in it a little bit. See, I knew all these leaves were gonna take a little while. But if I don't just buckle down and do them, I won't do them. Now, if I was just straight up filming this, this would be the point in time that I would have colored this one. I would have colored this on film, but then I would have like sped it up really fast. <laughs> Kind of like a montage, you know, like in the 80s, you know, whenever there was so, some big chore to be done and they add some music and they speed it up. That's what it would be like. Yeah, Rachel's real good. One of her tutorial books? Yes, so do I. Uh, she came out with one recently. That's where that uh, face page came out of. Yeah, she's got a couple of them, so I think I have like her artist edition ones. Yeah, Johanna versus Hannah. It's so catchy. Well, and the funny thing is, is Hannah's, la Hannah's name is actually spelled H-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. So we have Joe H-A-N-N-A -N -N -A and just H-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. <laughs> Joe Hannah versus Hannah. I love it. Although I'll tell you when um, anything from Jewelry Box would be awesome. Well, let me see. You know, I've got my books right here. Let me see real quick. Because that way you guys can tell me which of these books that you guys have more of. And then that way, because since you guys are in here, I can choose a book that you're more likely to have if you want to color along. One second. Oh, she does the fairies. Are those kind of like those uh, elongated fairies? One of the ones with the, kind of the long egg, legs and long, arm, long arms. I think I know what that is. I like any artist editions. I think I've got a couple artist editions. Okay, so the ones that I have for Hannah, so you guys, out of these four, you can tell me which ones, which book you guys would prefer, and then I can choose a page out of that. So you guys kind of get first call on which book. I have more Johanna books, only one of Hannah's. Okay, so I have Magical Dawn. I have Seasons. I have Summer Nights. And I have Daydreams. Hi, Sarah. Winter Dreams, okay. Uh, Rachel Reinert. Reinert is R-E-I-N-E-R-T. Yeah. Okay, so, all right. So, Mia, you said you have Winter Dreams, so I have that one. Yeah, maybe there's an H in there. Oh, no, wait. I don't have Winter Dreams. Ha. Seasons, that's what I was thinking of. You have all five, Miranda? Okay. See, Winter Dreams must be her new one then. When I slowed down on my coloring a little bit, I felt silly buying more books when I wasn't even doing it because Seasons, I haven't done anything in, these, in Seasons. It is wide open. Do you have any Clara Mar I don't have any of the Clara Markova books. So books that I've got, I've got obviously all of Johanna's, multiple of Johanna's. I've got the Hannah Carlson ones. I've got a couple Rachel Reinert. I've got one Millie Murata. And then I have a couple from some obscure illustrators that aren't uh, super well known. I think I've got a, oh, what was that time? Oh, it's, it's like called, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab something one more second. See, I tried to get everything out, but then I think of things while we're streaming. But thankfully I have them all easy access. I just have to get up out of the chair to get it. Uh, let's see, oh, the Time Garden. That's what that was called. Time Garden. Okay. See, I have some that are put away on a shelf that I don't Oh, she just came upstairs. Well, she must be feeling better. Okay, Kimmy, you have see you you vote seasons. I kind of do too. Almost or mostly just because I haven't colored in yet. I don't have any Hannah, but I have all Johannas. Okay, 
Well, we'll definitely do a poll then on Instagram. Okay, so the other kind of obscure ones I have are the Great British Bake Off coloring book, just because I love the show and I just thought the desserts were kind of funny. Now, one of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of this one is because the lines are so thick. Like you could do so much more detail in this peacock's tail if the lines were only thinner. Now the gentleman that draws them, I've watched him, like see these ones are a little thinner, but I think it's because when he printed them, Daria Song, oh yeah, so yes, this was the other one I have, the Time Garden, Daria Song, yeah, which I haven't colored in this one either. Um, there was a bookstore that was going out of business and I was able to snag up one of her books because I had heard a lot about it. Um, for a really, really decent price. So I haven't colored in them yet. I'm not quite sure how I feel about her books yet. The Vote Johanna, have not colored in Seasons. You have the Time Garden. No. So I do have, yeah, I do have the Time Garden because I had heard lots of good things about it. It was the other dog that had the reaction, but she's never, oh, okay. You have Daydreams, okay. Twilight Garden from Maria Troll. Yes, I've heard Maria Troll is also really good. Okay. Reiner, okay, I have three of Daria Song's books. And how do you like coloring in her, in her stuff? Maria Troll, I'll have to look her up. Yeah. yeah my headphone cord is in here. I feel silly wearing the headphones because I'm not really talking into them, but the way that I have this set up is that the music is actually playing through my desktop, not the program. So I wear the headphones so that you guys don't have a double play of music because then it would pick up from the microphone as well. Plus then I get kind of the same musical vibe as you guys are getting. And I suppose it would help if I zoomed in. Ha! Ah. There we go. That's better. All right, well look though, we're almost halfway done with the dark green on the leaves, so that's good. There are so many good artists. <laughs> or, or, one of these days, one of these days, this might be fun. Not, not right away. Not right away, but one of these days, I think, you know, once once we're comfortable with everybody here, and we have a good solid number of viewers. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know if it'd be too. I can't think of the word, but, you know, I have a lot of my own illustrations. Like I have a mandala that everybody seemed to like. And so I could one of these days offer one of my own illustrations of a free download and we can color that together. That might be fun. So I did this mandala. It got good response on Instagram. And maybe it was just the colors. I did ergo sauce with these. But it could be that a mandala is a little too repetitive also. But you know, it's, it's an option. One of these days I could, you know, set up one of my own, one of my own drawings as a download and we could do that together but the fact of the matter is my stuff is not that well known and I think in general people are comfortable with the books they have. You know, like this one, added the, the B. But just an idea, just something to play with. If we do do that, it's not going to be for a while. I don't want to do that until the stream is really established. But if I did the free download, then it wouldn't matter who has the book. It's just a matter of whether or not you can print it out, you know? I did, over on my website, I, I did, um, I sent out newsletters monthly, and I did that for about a year. Could someone be able to print and mail it to me? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. If you have a local library, you'd be able to uh, go there, and they should be able to print it off for you or even a local print shop, just a straight up normal black and white print, I think is like 15 cents, five cents, maybe less. So it's pretty inexpensive. It would just be a matter of what resources you have wherever you, wherever you live.
Yeah, because what'll happen is I'll, I can send it, like, I'll put it on Dropbox and, like, send it as a link um, in, in my Instagram or something, and then everybody could download it. Um, and then generally you can email it to a local print shop or put it on a USB drive or, or something. So the USB drive could probably be, you know, or, or even you could just pull up the email, um, you know, from your email at the library or something. But generally there's a way to get a library to print it out because it doesn't need any fancy paper. You know, it's just for fun. But yeah, I think maybe down the line that might be something fun we could do, but not, not for a while. Not for a while. We're going to get established first before we start bringing in my own stuff. Staples can print them. I'm in the UK. Um, oh gosh, there is... What is that main store in the UK? It is sells a lot of like office and books it's kind of like our version of Barnes and Nobles I want to say it starts with a W oh I could be wrong the grayscale version so Jim you probably like this then I did another mandala and for my own self this isn't a coloring one this is a finished but I went back over it with some of my fine liners and I went in and added or you can kind of actually it's kind of cool you can see it up close but I added all of these details here. So it's like super intense. But yeah, and then I'll zoom back in here so you can see it, I'll move it around. But I added all these little details myself. That one was just a smidge tedious, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, I don't have a book, Miranda. Um, so I went through Probably for about a year, I went through a period where I was drawing illustrations, uh, like a lot. Oh, thank you, Donna. Um, yeah, so I went through, uh, I, I was drawing a lot of illustrations. So I do, I do have quite a few. In fact, I ended up fine tuning some of them for a art show that I had. Let's see if I can pull them out here. I have some of them out. Let's see. But it just, it never really took off. And the problem is, is as much as we don't like to admit it, the um, coloring trend isn't nearly as popular as it used to be. And because of that, not a lot of publishers want to accept new stuff. So it became increasingly more difficult to market them. So I drew some mythical stuff. This is called a Parrington. And these are all the drawings I did for the art show. So there's that one. This was based off of a photograph that I took. Little cherry on it. When did it start? Oh, is the stream new? Uh, yeah, it's very new. Uh, this past Monday. This is this is it. This is the third time. So you've been here for every single one, Donna. Yeah, this is a brand new stream. It's a little tiger lily based off because I used to do a lot of um, photography. I was photo editor for a newspaper for a while, um, and so I would go out, you know, pre kids when I had a little bit more time, and I would just photograph anything and everything. So this is little, this is the little tiger lily. This one was not based off of a photo. This was just one that I, that I drew. I had fun with that. Kind of a little 3D kind of pop out from the frame thing. This is that bumblebee I showed you earlier that I colored, but it's been altered just a little bit for the black and white. This is a mountain quail. I actually um, colored this one one year and sent it out as a Christmas card uh, to all my relatives. I know, I know, I would love to. It's I'm just not quite sure how to get from here to the book, you know? The colorful mandala? Yes, the black and white mandala? I'm not sure, I think so. This is an owl, this is based off of a picture I took uh, at the zoo. So yeah, I was able to do that. Except in the at the zoo, he was on a branch. So instead, I put him in a tree. But I did like all these little, little zigzag lines behind him. This one, I love this one. So I drew this rooster. Initially, um, I was helping with a rebranding of a restaurant, 
and uh, a rooster was their mascot. Now I did try and they ended up kind of going with the same idea, but they kind of reformed it. So I was able to still use this one uh, personally, but I spent a lot of time with all the little details. Let's see if we can zoom in and see. Yeah, so you can see all the little pointillism on here. You know, like he looks firm, but he's not angry. <laughs> And then like all the way down on his feathers. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, all his little, all his little legs, all that stuff. So I'm, I'm really, yeah, the color Mandana, Maldala, yes, it is on Instagram. Is a blank one on Insta? You know what, I have the download. Um, Miranda, why don't you go on Instagram and send me a DM, send me a direct message um, on Instagram with your, Actually, you know what? Just send me a direct message on Instagram and then I can give you the Dropbox links to it. Dropbox link to it, that's what it is. And this was a butterfly. I reworked this one a couple times. The lines are a little thicker than I'd like, but it works. So there's that one. Got one, a couple other. I know we're taking a detour here, but this is fun. I enjoy being able to. This was a seagull. This was also based off the picture. My husband and I had gone to the coast for a weekend trip. And he was just, the seagull was just chilling out there. So I had them. He's got lots of little, how many hours did it take you to draw the rooster? Oh gosh. So because we were originally drawing it for, yeah, see lots of little, it's called my little em embellished seagull here. Um, because we were doing it specifically for a restaurant, there was a lot of working and reworking on it. But, you know, I had to redraw him. But the initial drawing for him, because initially he was, I drew him in like 18 by 24 size. Uh, the initial drawing itself probably took about three to four hours. So he was a little intense, but that's probably why I'm so proud of him. <laughs> uh, okay, so I really like this one. It got a little smudge on it. But so originally it was just the yellow jacket. For the rooster, uh, the rooster is not really set up for coloring only because it's meant to be a finished one. So the rooster kind of is sort of stays as is, I suppose. I'll think about it because I don't have that one uploaded for a down. I don't have it formatted for a downloadable coloring page uh, at all. Um, but this one, the yellow jacket, so it was just the yellow jacket. And then when I realized I wanted to use it in the art show, I, uh, I reworked it to make it a little bit more interesting. So uh, I looked it up because I was just like, okay, well, Yellow Jacket isn't a honeybee. He doesn't, you know, make honeycomb necessarily. But their beehives are these kind of hexagon shapes. So it still worked. And then I've got the little, you know, details of the flowers to, to bring it to it. And in fact, my kiddos helped me with some of the flowers here. Like they made some ideas and stuff. Oh, 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 you're talking, sorry, not the, not the rooster. Yes, of course, Mia. Anybody that wants the link to the mandala, just send me a DM on Instagram and then I will link you the Dropbox link. And in fact, at some point, I should probably take the password off all of the tutorials too, because those are all on there. Uh, this one was another one I reworked for, this one is colored on the Instagram, but I reworked it for the art show that I had. And what I did is I drew a mandala and then I kind of inserted it into the unicorn. So you can see it's got all these little details on it. So that one was fun. I probably should rescan these in because I don't have like the yellow jacket or the unicorn in this form be also okay yeah just uh message me on uh on instagram and i'll do that and you know i have loads more mandalas that i have done since so maybe i should put out some of those at some point let's see is that it oh no we have this one i like this one or two and actually okay sounds good sounds good and you know what you, you don't have to put it here either just if you send me a dm just say hi i was in chat today can i get a link to the mandala so just um put that in the message and i'll know that you were here for that i was actually really proud of this one because johanna actually liked this one when i posted it on instagram now i've reworked it and it looks so much better than when i initially posted it but she liked this one and that made me feel pretty special that it was my own drawing and that she liked it also. But it's got loads of detail on the head and the spots are just these cool little designs and everything. The blank mandala, perfect. Yeah, just the direct messages and I'll be able to accommodate. Let's see, is there any more? Oh, yep, there's one more. This one was also based off of a picture and originally it was just the flower uh, and then I added the little Japanese beetle. Yeah, I love the seagull. 
so yeah that one was based off of picture one of these days I should like post the picture that I based it on like side by side uh, I think that's it yeah I think that's it for the drawing everything else in here I just have oh okay here is a fun did I ever draw that maybe not I was really into taking bees for a while this is one of the first like macro ones that I did and I loved it because his face is just right up in that flower. He's doing his little bee business. But this is a whole nother thing just because these are these are photographs. I could go on and on with pictures. I have too many of them and I get so easily distracted. And this is why my streams take me three hours instead of two. <laughs> okay, back to it. I promise I will get these leaves done before the end of this. Oh my goodness. I'm so easily distracted. It's ridiculous. There we go. There we go. Yep. All right. Instagram messages coming in. I got that for you, Miranda. I will try to get those sent out tonight. If I don't, I'll send them tomorrow morning. But knowing me, I'll probably do it tonight. Do you have one for the butterfly? I will check. Because that one there that I showed you was one, oh, got yours, Kimmy, uh, was one that I reworked. So any of these ones I may have to rescan in, but I, I do have some other butterfly versions. So let me look for that. Let me look for that. But that's exciting. So if you guys do color them, go ahead and share them on Instagram too, so I can see how you uh, color them. Yeah, because for that year I was sending out tutorials, which actually, because I don't, I, you know, I don't know how many people got those tutorials or actually read them or anything. Um, I was thinking that maybe for the stream, it doesn't always have to be just coloring. And it could be more like a, you know, a few of the streams could be like a coloring school, you know? So like there was a whole, um, a whole newsletter all on shading. Um, I did like some tool reviews. Yeah, I got yours, Kimmy. We're good. Um, but I got some, you know, things that I like to use in coloring. I got, um, blending tutorials. I have like a leaf printout where you can practice coloring leaves. I have like a mug printout where you can practice your shading. So what do you guys think? Would you enjoy some streams that are like teaching streams like coloring school? Or do you just want to stick to the coloring pages? Because I could totally do some coloring school streams. Um, is the same but with the 2424 yeah let's see yeah because I've got let's see how many messages do I have here yep got Miranda's let's look at my requests here Kimmy Miranda so I've got Kimmy's and Miranda's oh turned off my light <laughs> yeah I've got Kimmy's and Miranda's so far Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, stop touching buttons me. My goodness. It's just, it's a touch screen lamp, so if I brush my hand against it. There you go, progress so far. There you go, okay. Okay, there's a, there's a girl named Vani that follows me on Instagram now. Yes, coloring school sounds great. And I see your updated picture, Vani. It looks like you've got the little yellow vase, which means you've been here for, for this stream for a little bit. I love it. It looks beautiful, Vani. Okay, cool. Well, maybe maybe I'll do that. I'm not quite sure um, when. I'm not quite sure when, because I feel like we need to establish just a bit more. But maybe, maybe. I, okay, so I'll take a look at the, my past tutorials because it's kind of like I've got the lesson plans all made up. I sent out the newsletters like once a month, and so I essentially have 12 lesson plans done for for coloring class. So. I can take a look at those and then maybe before we decide to do them I can put a poll up on Instagram and say okay who wants to learn about this versus this and then you guys can vote on what you want your coloring class uh, live stream to be about and we will do one that doesn't have oh my gosh 47 skipped frames <laughs> oh my gosh I'm amazed the stream is holding it together as well as it is Wow I will definitely fix that for the next one I did do a unicorn. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think I've got it. It's up on my wall right now. 
but I colored it with little kind of rainbowy clouds. Yeah, because that's, I think, another thing. I, I covered a tutorial on how I do my little pastel clouds and everything. And I've got, you know, some of these videos up on YouTube, but I think it's something different when you can see it live and then, you know, ask, you know, for clarification or, or something, you know? I mean, there's a reason that people go to class rather than just watch YouTube videos all the time, you know? Plus, I mean, it's, it's just, I don't know, for me, I love talking about this. You know, I, I, there's not many people I have a few select people in my real life that are, are as interested in adult coloring as I am. And I think it's, I mean, that's one of the reasons that when I first started doing this, like I told my husband specifically, you know, after I finished a page, like, man, I wish I could see how other people color this, how, how other people do this, you know? Like I, I craved that, I don't know if it was comparison or what, but it's also nice to know that despite the fact that there may only be, you know, one or two people in your own town that actually have an interest in that, there's thousands of them all over the world. And because of that, you know, could we please do a color class with the unicorn? Of course. Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and scan some of these drawings back in since I've made them more detailed and everything. And uh, I'll make them, I'll make them color, color ready here. And then we can do, yeah, we can do some of those. Let me check my messages here. Oh, there we go. Lots, yep, lots more requests. Okay, so I've got Jim, got KS Mags, Birdie Tail. Yeah, perfect. We're getting loads of them in. So, yes, either tonight or first thing, well, not first thing, but either tonight or tomorrow, I will get those sent over to you. I'm not quite sure how tired I'll be when we're all done. Plus, I don't want to commit to tonight and then disappoint you for whatever reason. So, yes, tonight or tomorrow, I will send those over. Of course. And you know, my biggest, I asked for any help to improve would be great and appreciated. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the biggest part of it is really just practice, practice, practice. I mean, I mean, you can see my, my very first, you know, dragonfly drawing versus what I am now, you know, versus what I do. And it's, there's definitely some significant improvement to be sure. Okay, well, cool. I'm glad there's some interest in that. I debated about it, but I just wasn't sure how how interested everybody would be. You know what? These leaves are big enough, these little ones. I don't think I am going to do gel pen with them. I think I will do something contrasting to the color that we end up doing all for these larger leaves. Okay. Last of the dark color here. Of course, Kimmy, no problem. Sent, yeah, let's see. Yep, we got lots of them, that'll be perfect. There we go, okay. That is the dark color. Now in with our other green, and this one is the 15752. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Get a water break here real quick. Sorry. Yeah, so well good. This is we have loads of ideas for upcoming streams. Uh, yes, definitely. Hit the, hit the bell so you can see when I go live. But we have lots of ideas for upcoming streams. We'll, you know, try some other artists. We'll do some coloring classes. Maybe we'll squeeze in a tutorial. Sorry, I can't remember if I said it already, but in case I didn't, 15752. And for a reminder, especially for those that maybe rewatch the video later, these are the colors we're using for these leaves. So we've already done 157-5 all over. Now we're headed for 15752. But yeah, so, you know, we'll do a um, couple other artists. We definitely have more Johanna Hayes. I will say that when Johanna officially, officially, uh, the mandala, perfect, yeah. 
when Johanna officially comes back, we are most definitely going to have to do uh, one of her pages to celebrate because that's just super exciting. Because I don't know about you guys, but I am just waiting uh, patiently. Well, not patiently. I'm excited for her to come back. So I think that she's going to have a lot of cool stuff in store. And then when her new book comes out, especially if I'm lucky enough to get the advanced book, oh my goodness, are we going to be doing some special content for that book as well? That is going to be super exciting. Sorry, I realize I'm covering up that leaf. Oh, Birdie Tail Feathers is you. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Mia. But yeah, we will most definitely be doing some... We'll do some unboxing and and we'll now th this is this not saying it's guaranteed I'm gonna get a book uh, but if I do we will definitely have some special content for that In fact, so she'll have some drawing tutorials in there. Maybe we can like follow along with one of her drawing tutorials and then we can like color whatever flower or whatever thing that we that we draw from her book. I, mean, I know she just had that email that went out, but yeah. Kimmy, see you in a bit. I do too love her emails. It's because it's never spam, you know, so you see her name up there and it's just like, oh, some good email. So you take the time to read them. I gotta start thinking about what color I wanna color this pot. We'll see how much longer these leaves take us though. I knew that whenever we did these leaves, it was going to be a little bit of a slower pace just because when you do a lot of the same stuff, it can maybe get a little tedious. It's one of the reasons why I kind of chose this page just because it had a lot of different, a lot of different stuff, you know? Ah, there you go. There you go, Miranda. And I think that was her whole point is that now, you know, because people want to add stuff in theirs and whatnot, and this is a great way to learn how to draw, you know, in her style and that stuff. It's kind of like, oh gosh, wherever I have, that one work in progress I have with the, with the perfume bottles and everything like that, I added a bunch of, a bunch of leaves and, and flowers and stuff to that one. Sometimes it's just fun to add our own stuff, you know? And I'm almost wondering if I don't finish all these leaves tonight, because it's all basically the same thing. Do you think it would, I guess, ruin the magic of it or ruin the flow of it if I finished the leaves off? Like if I didn't, if I didn't get to it, I'll probably will. But I mean, if we ever have another case like this, where it's a lot of the same stuff for a while, would, oh, more fun to watch you YouTube and draw. That's fair, Jim. That's good. Um, but do you think that it would mess up the flow with it if we come across something where we're coloring a lot of the same thing? If I finished coloring a lot of that same thing off stream so that when we stream again, we can move on to something new? Or do you think I should just stick with it and color the same thing entirely on stream? Because it's like I have ideas of the way that I think it might work, but it's sometimes it tends to be much different than what you guys would prefer. You guys surprise me sometimes. Yeah, it's had some trouble there for a bit, but it's better now. Yeah. Although this second color is going much faster. 
which means the third color will probably go much faster as well. But see, this is good. I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys. We can, you know, fine tune the stream so that, you know, it's enjoyable for everybody. I should not be yawning. Oh, goodness. It's one of those days. I know my son's not feeling well, but I feel like he might have... Do you have Facebook? I do have a Facebook. So you can find me at Emily Illustrator. The only thing is there's not a whole lot posted on there because for some reason when I made the page, I had the idea that I would only post the stuff I create versus, you know, the coloring stuff. That being said, because of that, there's not always something posted. I should probably change that up, you know, but yes, I do. So if you can find, uh, if you look for Emily Illustrator on Facebook, uh, that is up there. I do have my own personal, but I keep that one personal because it's, you know, family stuff and whatnot. Ooh, that's creepy, Mia. Yeah, that's no good. Thankfully, I haven't had to deal with that. I mean, I get, you know, random messages on, on Instagram, but I think a lot of it has to do with just the fact that I'm a woman um, but I just ignore those ones and then block whoever I need to block nothing's ever continued after a single or second message or something but that's the internet for you I suppose but yeah so you know my son's not feeling it. I think he might have given me a little something because I'm just more tired than usual not feeling a hundred percent but you know it's it's not much like I said it's all been pretty mild so Nothing to affect what we do here, but if I just sound not quite as perky as I did the nights before, that's probably the reason why. But that just means that next time we come on, I'll have the resolution fixed and we'll be done with the with the tedious part and I'll perk back up and I'll have to find a new show to discuss. Like, uh, I'm catching up on Master Chef right now. Let's see, what other shows am I watching? Okay, uh, 15757 is gonna be our next color. Okay, so yeah, I'm catching up on Master Shifts. Chef, that's fine, so you can move forward quicker. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. But yeah, so I'm catching up on Master Chef. Uh, I do like Handmaid's Tale. I know that that's, you know, that's hit or miss with some. Um, but I do like Handmaid's Tale, so I've been watching that. Uh, let's see, yes, there's a weird messages on his, but mine is private now, so I don't get them as much. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just ignore them. But I can't exactly make mine private. That might uh, drop my my followers just a smidge. <laughs> Let's see what else. Sometimes I'll go back to you know classic '90s Buffy, and you know, like we mentioned before, occasionally go back to Doctor Who. I introduced the kids to Master Chef Junior, and oh my goodness, they absolutely loved that. Yeah, the marble pictures. Okay, so that's called fluid art. And that is, that's a type of painting. And if you see the pictures of me teaching classes, those are the classes that I'm teaching. And so, uh, pre-ordered it, what was, I must have said something, I'm not sure what you pre-ordered. Oh, maybe Johanna's book. Um, but yeah, so the fluid art pictures, that's, that's a way of painting, but you like put painting in a cup and then you flip it over. And so I actually sold a lot of those uh, at my uh, recent art show. Uh, but yeah, that's what I teach my art classes at the, the gallery. That's what those pictures are from. And people have so much fun. And I just like, I feel, kind of feel how I do after stream. I'm just like, I'm so jazzed because I just spent, you know, the last few hours talking about things that I love. And uh, yeah, so you mix all different kinds of paints and you thin them out and you use things like oil and fire. And it's, it's definitely fun. It's a little bit messy and a little bit of an expensive hobby. Um, but once you figure out your formula and how you want to do them, thank you, Miranda. Yeah, there's there's all different ways to do them. I don't do them as much anymore just because they are time consuming and messy. But uh, the drawing book, maybe? 
You have to remind me what I said about that, Mia. Sometimes I also chatter on and I don't necessarily hear what I'm saying. Yeah, I've also thought about Create Space for my coloring book, but the problem is, is Create Space doesn't have the best paper. And so I think if I ever do it, I want to just save them. If I ever get the chance to do a legitimate coloring book, like I'd love to do. So roosters don't bother me on, on social media. There you go. That's funny, calling them roosters. I don't get them too often, but a big, I think part of that is I have so few pictures of myself posted on Instagram. Like I, I'm not a selfie taker. I never have been. I just, I can't get comfortable with it. It just feels weird. And, and I just, I'm not comfortable. With it. That being said, when that Snapchat uh, app came out where you could like see what you look like as a boy or girl, you know, just as a family, we all, you know, looked and it was pretty hilarious. I never posted any of them because again, that's just, that's just not me. If I take a picture of myself, I want it to be, you know, to remember a moment or, or something like I rarely just do pictures of just me. And so because, you know, I'm not just focused on, you know, my hair and makeup or whatever, I think that does that naturally doesn't draw the attention of men. You know, if they just go to Instagram, they see pictures like, oh, okay. So, you know, like I said, I've got a few pictures of me, but it's like, okay, there's pictures of me teaching my art class. There's, you know, pictures of the gallery. You know, I, I did that one picture of for, you know, show your colors, but I had somebody take that picture for me. That's probably the closest I ever get to a selfie. I might've when I was younger, like one or two, but also, you know, 10, 15 years ago, Selfies weren't as much of a thing, you know? But teach his own. I'm not going to say that, you know, anybody shouldn't take selfies or anything. I'm just saying, for me, I am not a selfie taker. <laughs> you know, and this is taking up enough space. I'm wondering if I should just move to the yellow after this color. Has anybody ever here, here ever seen, it's not, I want to say it was a straight to VHS movie, but it had Angela Lansbury in it. It was called Mrs. Eris Goes to Paris. This little song we're listening to right now, you know, it's kind of got that sort of tiptoe piano music on it. It reminds me of that movie. You know, it's, it's a super sweet movie. You know, it's got a happy ending. You know, she goes to Paris and she wants to get a, you know, a dress from Dior. But because she's old, they, you know, they, they're like, oh, well, you know, you're too old and poor. You can't have it. But she just works her little fingers to the bone and earns the money. And in the end, you know, she, well, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't say it in case anyone wants to watch it. But it's an older movie. If you like Angela Lansbury, it's just super, super sweet. This song that we just listened to uh, reminded me of it. <laughs> okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the yellow over this, and then we'll add more of kind of the uh, the style green if we need to. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use now. Let's see what time is it? Ten seventeen. Okay, we're gonna use uh, one five seven ten. We're just gonna go over all of them with yellow, and then we'll go back and add more of the kind of uh, warmer green if we need to. Okay, so ch -ch -ch. we're gonna add in this yellow here. Let's move this so you guys can see it. Add in the yellow. You know, I always have plans in the beginning, but as I go along, you know, I tend to alter them depending on how I need. Yeah, see, it's a little bit more yellow. We'll make that one more yellow so that they all match. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Then we'll go through and we'll add a little bit more green as needed. Okay. Welcome back, Kimmy. All right, so fun topic of conversation. What did everybody have for dinner tonight? I made breakfast for dinner, which we do occasionally. A friend of mine told me we should have uh, English breakfast, but I don't know, I can't do beans with my breakfast. But we did uh, eggs, hash browns, bacon, pancakes. I made these little, I've started um, whisking my egg whites and then putting them in last so that when you make the pancakes, they're like super fluffy and they've got lots of air in them. So yeah, 
We did breakfast for dinner tonight. What about you guys? Gals. What about you, chat? I'll just call you chat. <laughs> I really gotta stop specifying gender. That's not fair. Almost done with the yellow. See, the more the less space you have. I know it's like you add a lot of detail, but you know, you can see now this one actually looks more yellow than the rest. When you do lots, it's 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 easier for me to lose vision a little bit on what I'm doing and then get the shape a little bit. Oh, would help if I followed it. Was eating dinner when my puppy found her way up. Oh, there you go. I think you said she's a Chihuahua puppy, right? Chicken strips, rice, and corn on the cob. Oh, Kimmy, that sounds good. I had leftovers from a pulled pork dish I made in my pressure cooker. Oh, you guys, you're making me drool here. That sounds so good. Let's see if I can pull this back up. Oh, turn off my light again. Stop messing with that. Okay, I'm just going to stop touching that. Yeah, that sounds really good. That sounds super good. Okay, um, let's take our lighter green maybe? no you know what because this one looks more yellow than the other chicken strips onion rings and fries that's what she was after there you go oh, see now i want chicken strips i <laughs> uh, see then that would be why it's a big deal that she went up the stairs because especially if she's a puppy that's 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 far for her to jump little baby okay all right so let's see Art right, number 15711. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more yellow to this. Okay. Salami, cheese bread, cheese bread, and heirloom cherry tomatoes. Had a big lunch, so I didn't want to do it. Oh, but that still sounds really good. Stop it, guys. You're making me hungry. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I should do? Is anybody here familiar with, uh, with Discord? Discord is a program that you can use to link when you're doing stream and stuff. Forgot to eat supper, so I just ate part of a peanut butter peanut butter sandwich. That sounds good, too. Uh, there's a program you, you can set up called Discord that you can set up with the stream. So, like, for instance, in this in this situation, if, like, you had pictures of your dinner, you could go and, like, post all of your pictures of your dinner there. But, I don't know, that might be a bit much for, for a coloring stream. That might be a bit too hectic. We'll wait on that one, I think. Oh, that yellow makes the leaves. Yeah, doesn't it really? It really makes them pop. Yeah, and then just as a reminder, it's the 15711. Pop these over here too. So for these little ones, I actually ended up not using much of that one, much of this color, but we are onto this one here. Thank you, Mia. Yeah, we're just putting it on the sides a little bit. Then we'll go back through and we'll maybe add smidge of red here and there. That's the thing is when you have a limited palette too, just adding in extra colors rather than thinking, okay, well, this is a green leaf, which means it's just green. <laughs> just say what we say in the South, y'all. You know, we've been living in the South for, well, for a while now, eight years, maybe. Anyway, I don't know, I still haven't switched to saying y'all. It could just be because I grew up in the Northwest, so maybe I just can't make my mind to go. That being said, my children were born here and we caught a bit of a twang in some of their speech. You know, they don't learn it from us because we don't have it, but I think they pick it up from school. And so it's kind of cute, kind of cute when it happens. Oh, that's so sweet, Mia. Well, you give her lots of extra snuggles for me. Puppies are adorable. Just adding it a little bit on the sides here. Because I think, before I go any further, I think I want to take this one. This is the art number 1575. Actually, no, we're going to do this one. This is the 15752 just so that it's more similar to the other ones. I'm gonna bring some of this green down just a little bit. 
my initial plan was making this look much more yellow and you know it's bigger and so it was easier to add more detail there okay now we're back with the 15711 add a little bit on the sides okay just a little bit of detail here and there done. Oh, it would help if I kept up with myself. I get so busy, you know, boop, boop, boop. She got mad at me for leaving here today, but she's happy now. Well, snuggles solves all thing. If I'm like resting in the bed or something like that, both of the cats will come and pile on top of me. Because our other cat wasn't feeling well for a while, we had to keep her in another room. And so our other cat, our younger one was separated from her. And because of that, um, she had a little fit, that's cute. Because of that, he got a little bit more clingy and was much more apt to, you know, get on my lap or sit there, you know, rather than running around and play. And so now, you know, she's she's back out now with, with the, you know, the rest of us. And uh, now he just piles on when she piles on. So you just get this big old pile of cats on top of you. <laughs> All right, this is 1572. And we're just adding a little bit. Not much, but just enough to make it so the leaves aren't all cookie cutter, you know? doesn't have to be perfect I'm literally just adding a little bit just to give it a little bit of character you know not all leaves are perfectly green generation X thing yeah Chihuahua biting attack. That's cute. Sorry, I'm getting focused on this red. It's like when I when I can when I've been working on something for like a long time. I tend to like, when I see the light at the end of the tunnel, I'll speed up more than I should. And I'll be like, all right, almost done. Just a little bit here. Let's keep going. Gotta get going. And then I realize, oh wait, I'm rushing this and it's not gonna turn out as nice if I don't slow down. So slow down. It's like, I'm sure you've noticed that, especially if I'm talking about something I'm excited, I tend to talk a little bit fast, which I suppose it's, it's not as bad as it used to be. And I tried to be mindful of it. When I was, you know, in high school, you know, however many years ago it was, and you know, you'd have to give speeches in front of, in front of class. And we get to bring note cards up there with us. On top of the note cards, I always had to write in big caps. From Southern California, it took me a good 30 years to say y'all, there you go. Uh, I have to write in big caps, slow down, don't talk so fast. Like I just, I don't know if I just get overly excited or I'm just anxious to get it all out or something, but yeah, I have a tendency to talk very, very quickly. I started getting over it though. I worked at this place where I had to give tours and you know, you had your memorized spiel of things that you had to say. There we go. All right, let's zoom out so we can see these leaves real quick. Here we go. Here, I'm gonna pull this up so I can see how the lighting is for you guys. Um, you know, you have your memorized spiel and everything, but you know, I could have sometimes, you know, 20 people that are are watching me and you know expecting to to hear about whatever it is I'm telling them about and uh, it was just like I remember one time I just had this large group and the best way I can describe it was it was like almost like an out-of-body experience because like in my head as I'm telling them all of this you know I had I didn't have a lot of experience with people you know really just intently listening to me I just remember thinking oh my goodness all these people are listening to me 
I better not mess this up, you know? It was just, it was just for a brief second, but yeah, I've definitely had to train myself to be more mindful of how quickly I'm saying things. <laughs> I mean, I'm in my 30s now, so it's taken a little bit. I live in Michigan, but lived in Florida for 13 years and now go back and forth and say soda for pop. Yeah, I didn't know for the longest time that there was a difference between, you know, I was just like, okay, it's, it's soda, but you know, I guess I've lived both places that say it's soda and pop. Heck, sometimes I say soda pop. It just depends. Probably soda more often than not. Mostly all of my family on my mother's side lives out in California. My meeting family is here though. But yeah, my family's kind of all over the place. Okay, so um, I think for tonight we're going to finish up the stems and the little leaves. This is 1030 already. And then, yeah, there you go. Variegated pathos ivy. Yeah. So I think we'll finish up like the, the vines, the stems, and the little leaves on here. And then we'll call it probably for tonight, just, you know, with the lag and everything. I wanted to call it a little bit of an earlier, of an earlier stream. And then, you know, I feel like I want to do an extra one, an extra stream, just to kind of make up for the lost time here. Even if it's just for a little bit. Because I still, I, I would like to be done by Tuesday. I don't know. I don't want to drain this out too long, but we'll just keep going with this real quick. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this, this brown here, this 15773. And we're going to use, we're going to use this one, 15757. And we're going to use this one, 15752. Hi, Candace. Thanks for coming in. My cat woke me up from my nap by climbing on top of me and purred really loudly just so he could get get some head scritches. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mine will come sit up right next to me and she'll just start breathing heavily. Or, or uh, Paul McCatney, the younger one, will think it's great fun to like run across my pillow at night. It's like, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Aw, cuddly puppy. Okay, so we might, we may or may not even need this dark one, but for sure we're going to use these three here. So we're going to zoom back in. All right. So we've got these four here. And Candace, since you just popped in, just so you're aware, if it's laggy on your end, I apologize. It has to do with my screen resolution. I'm going to fix it for next time. So we just decided to roll with it and we're going to call it a little bit of a shorter stream uh, tonight and then we'll make up for it a little bit later. But yeah, so just so you're aware, that's that's a, a known issue. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharp this. We're gonna start with the brown. Good night, Jim. Thanks for hanging out for so long. And I will uh, just keep an eye on Instagram for when, if we decide to do an earlier run, but otherwise uh, we will be live again um, Monday night. And I broke a lead. So we're gonna get that out of there. One second. not paying attention yeah see I get I'm sure everybody else gets this issue too so it's right here then I'll just use one or the other I could probably use my exacto knife would probably be better but just push it back out and there we go a broken lid put them in here boop it's probably because this is getting full I've actually noticed that if my pencil sharpener is getting too full why but it's a tendency to break more often so we'll put that right over here that's the little pencil shaving holder for my electric one now I've got all these shavings all over the paper here <sighs> okay there we go all right let's go up here we're gonna try and resharpen this brown one here Hey, look at that 22 viewers awesome you guys are awesome for just hanging out for all this I appreciate every single one of you because without you guys here there would be no stream oh, I should probably stop stop breaking my lids so I can actually get some coloring done that'd be that'd be handy I think okay I'm gonna try this again let's not break it this time Emily we're not breaking lids Let's see. Try 
be a little bit more gentle here. There we go, just a little bit more. Come on, hold together. There we go. All right, we're not playing with fire. I will be happy with this sharpness. <laughs> Should have just left it alone in the first place. Okay, so we are gonna use this 15773. Okay, and we're gonna start with the brown at the base of the leaves. Just like that. Okay. We're gonna fade it out. We're not, we don't want any harsh lines here. How long will these streams be? What's the goal? Okay, so when I originally started the streams, my goal was gonna be about, uh... oh, I'm so glad, Sarah. It's fun chatting more coloring and I've colored more this past week because I've really enjoyed your streams. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, so yeah, my initial goal when I did these streams was two hours, which is about what we're doing tonight. But the last couple times that I've streamed, I mean, we made it three hours, easy. Now, those other three hours, I was feeling 100%. Um, which I am not today, and I wasn't having the uh, resolution drop frame issues. So, um, uh, yeah, so today, uh, after we're done with this, you know, we'll end it about there. But ideally, two to three hours. Three hours of things, you know, are going well and smoothly and everything. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the goal, I think. And then, you know, two to three hours gives us a little wiggle room in case something comes up or, you know, like our drop frame rate, which I promise will be fixed next time. But apparently it's tolerable for this particular stream. Okay. Let's see. A few more at the base. Oh my gosh, am I not even keeping this in frame? <laughs> I'm just like turning it like I would at home, but, or you know, when I'm, when I'm just normally coloring it. Look at me go. It'd be helpful if I actually kept this. I apologize, guys. I did not realize that I was doing that. I'm gonna try and be more mindful of that. It's also, when it's the, you know, first started streaming, there's little, little habits that you gotta break. which is coloring like nobody's watching, like I was just doing a second ago. <laughs> there we go. A little bit more there, okay. Now let's see, I see she's got a vine going down, a vine going down here. Where does it go to? Oh, it's this one here. Okay. So here, we'll do this. I was trying to figure out where this one goes. So she's got this one that goes down here behind, behind, and that comes out, and that's what this long one is, because this one actually stops here. Good night, Sherry. Thanks for coming in. Yes, happy Father's Day weekend. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and use this 15757. What is the best heavy printer paper you found for a good tooth for color pencil? Um, it has a lot to do with what printer that you have. Um, I think, you know what, give me one second. I, cause somebody asked this the other night and I meant to grab it cause I want to give you the right poundage. So let me go grab mine real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so the kind of paper that I like to use, now, I mean, if I can go to a print shop and get it printed there, like some of these bigger ones that I printed for Johanna's contests, two hours is perfect, okay, yeah, there you go. 
I think I usually do the three hours when I lose track of time. Okay, so let me grab, when I do her coloring contest, I specifically go to a print shop and have it printed out. Um, and I get it printed on this really thick paper. So, okay, this one is one that's not laminated. This is when she put out the, let's see, that one's not laminated either. Okay, so let's zoom out for a second. Okay, so, you know, she sent us all this copy, and so I printed it out, and I like it because the particular printer that my print shop uses, it raises the ink just slightly so that if I wanted to do watercolor, have you tried vellum bristol? I have not. Um, anyway, this is 120 pound cardstock. Super heavy, would not go through your standard home printer. And I did the same thing with this one. Like, cause like, I don't know if you can see on the bottom of this for bubbles, I actually put like puffy paint on it. So that was fun. Um, but anyway, this kind of paper can handle um, like watercolor and stuff because it's 120 pound. Now for my average printer, I use this. This is matte photo paper. This can go through my printer no problem. This is eight and a half by 11. Here, maybe we can zoom in a little bit. Eight and a half by 11. It's got 50 sheets, 45 pounds, and I guess in grams, 170. I'm not sure. I guess grams would be the UK measurement for it. Um, but yeah, for US, this, this is 45 pound uh, sheet paper. Comes in this little plastic here. So if I can pull it out, you can kind of get a sense of what it is. Oop, didn't mean to bump the mic. Okay. So, you can hear. Like it's got, it's just the way it bends, it's, it's obviously much thicker than computer paper. But yes, this is what I use when I print stuff at home. And it goes to the printer, no problem. Um, I want to say that most home printers have a limit of, I think, like, and this is just your standard. Like I have, um, actually I have a couple Canon printers. Um, like the one that I use most often is the Canon TS8120. And that one works great because it's got, uh, the cardstock works better if you can put it in the back and that way it doesn't have to bend as much. Um, anyway, but yeah, I use the 45 pound, but what you'll want to do is find the specs for your printer and then, uh, just go by what it says for poundage. Because honestly, the heavier you can get, the better. Like if, if I could, you know, print 100, 120 pound at my own home printer, I definitely would. Cause I prefer thicker paper because you don't have to worry about pressing through to the other side. Um, the tooth is fantastic. It's just, honestly, in my opinion, just the heavier, the better essentially. Okay, let's finish this up. So we've got 15757. We're gonna go ahead and do it behind the brown here. Okay. Thank you, Donna. TS 9020. Yeah, I, I can't remember what my other one is. Um, and truth be told, Canon actually sent me that printer itself back when Johanna did the, um, do you remember when she did the downloads like for the holiday war for like, she put out, you know, four downloads. She had partnered with Canon and she put out four downloads. Well, they didn't, not a lot of people color them. I don't, I'm not sure why, Maybe because it was lack of being able to print them, or maybe just what does 120 pounds have? But does it? Uh, it does. It does. 
uh, that, and I love how thick it is because, like I said, you can add water to it. So yeah, I've had zero problem. If I could color on that 120 pound paper all the time, I most definitely would. Um, but yeah, she put out those coloring pages that she collaborated with Canon. And every time one came out, like I colored them immediately and I was always like the first to put it out. Well, a few months later, I got a message from Canon and they're like, hey, by the way, we want to send you a printer and one of her books. And I'm like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> and they never really said why, but my guess is it's because I, I posted like almost immediately like within a day or two of when those came out and maybe it's just because I was so enthusiastic about it so it was like a thank you but I was not gonna complain because hey free printer <laughs> fell in Bristol is better for pencils I do like Bristol board I do I like it a lot so yeah that's the printer that I use for and when they sent that printer they sent that Canon paper along with it and it's just been you know it works out really well for pages so it's like why change, you know? Yeah, manual fee trade for heavy paper, for sure. So you see, I'm kind of just doing parts. Nope, you can't see because I didn't move the paper. Oh my Lord, I am the worst coloring streamer ever. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, I am leaving parts where the darker green is going to go uh, because that's gonna be sort of the shadow of sorts. Let's see, there we go. There we go, now everyone can see him. Yeah, I thought it was too, Mia. I was like surprised and blown away, not complaining because was awesome uh but but yeah so it's officially my favorite printer <laughs> it's like they didn't even announce that they were going to do something like that you know it wasn't like hey the person who you know it wasn't a contest it wasn't anything i wasn't expecting anything like that and then they just emailed me and i was just like okay that works oh color and Bliss recommends the vellum bristol okay all right so now we're going in with the Let's see. Which green did I say I was gonna do? Yeah, this one. Okay, uh, 1575. Cardstock or cover top? I'm not sure. I mean, I use cardstock, but. All right, and now this is where we're gonna bring in the darker for the vine. And then lastly, we'll have all those little leaves to do. So yeah, this is a little bit of a slower paced stream, but it's bound to happen when we've got loads of kind of the same little details to do. Hi, Sabrina, thanks for coming in. We are finishing up our vines and we're gonna color some little leaves. And I'm gonna try and actually keep my picture in the frame of the video. That would be nice. It's amazingly difficult to do when you're not paying as close attention as you should. Look, I went outside the lines. Even I go outside the lines right there a little bit, but it's little. I don't worry about it too much. If I were super stressed about going outside the lines, then I don't think I'd have as much fun coloring. I know, exactly, free printer. <laughs> Oh, and Sabrina, if your if your stream is laggy, it's it's a known issue. It has to do with my screen resolution. We decided to just roll with it, and I'm gonna fix it for next stream. So I apologize if it's super laggy for you, uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Have a big stretch of green here. I think we're gonna take this other lighter green again and we're just gonna color these nubs a little bit. Just like that. That'll be good, Sabrina. And I'm debating about doing another stream before Monday, but we'll see. It's kinda gonna have to count on how Father's Day weekend goes. Mostly because I just, I felt bad about the laggy stream today. That, and I feel like 
these leaves and vines took a lot longer than I anticipated. And so I'd like to keep on schedule to finish this on Tuesday so we don't get too burnt out on it. Oh, have a good night, Donna. Thanks for coming by. Loved having you here. Okay, we're gonna put that here. There we go. You know what? It'll probably just be easier to have it this way so that you can see all of it. Oh, and I missed this with that lighter green. Put that there. Okay. bit more green. Almost done with the vine. Almost, almost. See, this is also why I like having it cut out because I have so much more freedom on how I can turn this, especially since with the stream, I don't want to, you know, put my hand over it too much and cover up. So if I turn it, it's easier to make it. So I watched the first episode of Brina after your stream on Wednesday. Oh man. What did you think, Sabrina? Dark? Too dark? Yeah, I'm curious. What did you think of it? It's so different. Well, that didn't work. My son called, but bad connection. This is why anytime after midnight is too late for me. Oh. Sorry, Donna. Okay. Let's see. Oh, missed a little. Missed a little bit here. All right. See you then, Donna. I'll post on Instagram if we decide to do an impromptu stream this weekend. But, I don't know. With it being Father's Day, probably not. Uh, we're gonna do. Where is that other color? Mine. There's this one. Okay, I want to do something slightly different. Yeah, let's do this and this. Okay, for all the little leaves, we're gonna do one five seven three eight and one five seven fifty, and we're gonna start with the darker one first. Okay. We're going to do darker at the base, darker at the base. I've only watched one episode of Sabrina. Yeah, Sabrina, I'm really curious. What did you, what did you think of that first episode? Cause I think you said that you like, you like that kind of like, not, not horror, but it was dark, but quite interesting. I didn't know witches are, yeah, see that part was the unnerving part for me. I just like, I, I grew up, you know, going to church and stuff. And I just, I felt like I was going to get in trouble for watching that. <laughs> I mean, I'm a grown adult, but still. Yeah, that was, that was a, a, a bit dark. <laughs> Guess my impression of witchcraft stays with Charmed. Yes. Okay. I love Charmed. Charmed is amazing. Just, you know, strictly good versus evil you know the witches work for the good guys like yeah i love charmed i mean i rewatched the first season it's definitely a little cheesy but oh man now you made me nostalgic now i want to i want to oh see look at me i'm not moving it up again i'm so sorry guys or chat <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I absolutely love Charmed. I had, before I regularly had, you know, Netflix or Amazon or whatever was on, I had all the seasons purchased. And man, I wore those DVDs until they were so scratched. I watched the whole series and loved it. Original version. Are you talking about the original version of, uh, of Sabrina? Like the one with Melissa Joan Hart? Uh, Mia Bear? All right, almost done, chat, almost done. Is this Sabrina on Netflix? Okay, yeah, the new Sabrina. Is it on Netflix? I think it's on Netflix. Ooh, now I gotta look it up. Love Charmed, have you watched the new one? 
Oh, that's right. They made a new one. No, I haven't. And only because, you know, I love, I love what I love, you know, and it's kind of like, I read so many Nancy Drews when I was little and I absolutely love them. And then they made a Nancy Drew movie and I just, I didn't want to watch it because I knew that it would ruin it for me. And I just, yeah. All right. I'm on Netflix. Yes. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. It's on, it's on Netflix. But yeah, I didn't want to, I didn't want to ruin it. Is, is the new version, is the new Charmed version, uh, is it any good? I mean, have you seen it? Okay, so yeah, this is 15750. Sabrina, yes, original. Yeah, the Melissa Joan Hart one, I like that one. You know, it's just goofy and, you know, kind of happy-go-lucky. You know, it's Melissa Joan Hart. You know, you can't take it too seriously. Okay, a little bit of green there. See, and the leaves are going to be a little bit more of a darker green than the other leaves. Kind of make them pop. Okay, I'm going to do my best to follow the paper with these. Okay, we did those two. Now we're going to do these ones. I don't think I was going to watch, I don't think I was going to watch the new one. The new one is now on Netflix. Oh, the new Charmed is on Netflix? Yes, only watch one episode of the new Sabrina. Yeah, the new Sabrina, it's, it's a very different take on the old Sabrina and it's just, it's a little too dark and I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for watching it. It's just, it's a bit much, you know? I grew up in the church. It just feels wrong somehow. <laughs> yes, only watched one, yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give the new Charmed a chance of the original with Sabrina and Melissa. Yeah. Yeah, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah, with Melissa Joan Hart. So classic. Ah, and I didn't follow it. Oh, there we go. We almost got it. Okay, let's see. Did I miss any leaves? Let's zoom out just a smidge here. Okay. Do we miss any? Do we miss any? Do we miss any? Do we miss any? Okay. I think that is all the leaves. I've seen about 10 episodes. I'm still trying to decide how I feel about it. Well, is it all like, I don't know. Is it just got a bunch of like super young girls that are, you know, more about their hair and their clothes than they are about the storyline? I don't want, I don't want to watch something that's, you know, I guess vapid is the term. I don't know. I'd want to have it similar. I used to like Shannon Doherty and her from 90210. Yeah. Yeah, I can't decide. I think both the sisters kind of, you know, um, Shannon Doherty and uh, Paige's character. I think they both had a good spot. I think Paige's character probably could have dressed slightly more decently, but you know, it's, it, it was the era, it was the time. 90210 is coming back. Okay, so ladies, we did not get as much done, but those leaves, Took me a lot more, a lot longer to finish than I anticipated. So we got this little, they're filming it in Canada, okay. So we got this little pot done here, okay. And we got all of these leaves done. And I'm gonna take a better picture of it tomorrow so you guys can see it and everything. I was hoping we could get the pot done, but truth be told, it's almost 11 and I'm feeling pretty, pretty pooped. Um, so yeah, truthfully, just because it's Father's Day weekend, we probably won't stream this weekend. We most definitely will Monday, and then maybe if we're not done by Monday, which I'd be surprised if we were, maybe I'll do a bonus stream Tuesday? I don't know. If we carried this out to Wednesday, would you guys be okay with that or would you get burnt out on it? I just, I don't want us to lose our steam. It's just that these leaves took a lot longer than we thought. Emily, do you like the Ghost Whisperer? I have seen it. I don't recall what I felt about it because that's the one with, um, oh no, wait, I'm thinking medium. No, Ghost Whisperer is that one with, uh, Oh gosh, I can see like the promo picture in my head, but I am drawing a blank on her name. Watching Happy Gilmore now, there you go. Fortunately, no, there are quite a few similarities with the original charm. Okay. You know, Cheryl, I might, I might give it a chance. I'm always looking for new shows. You said it's on Netflix? So oh, I love Ghost Whisper, one of my favorite shows. Crying at every episode, there you go. If you like, if you like to, it's not good, so there you go. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I'll give Charmed another try. Anyway, okay, well maybe I'll do that. I think that if I were to do it this weekend, that would cut too much into Father's Day. And I think that if I were to stream on Tuesday and then stream Wednesday, I might get a little, I don't know, it seems like three is a good, you know, there's a break and I can, you know, fix things on, take time to fix things on the stream because good Lord, 77 skipped frames tonight. That is ridiculous. I will be changing that. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could not think of that. Hi again. Just sitting here coloring, waiting for my son to call. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Jennifer Love Hewitt. I could see her face. I could not think of her day. My brain is slowly functioning today. Anyway. Okay, cool. So we'll just plan for now for streaming Monday and we'll just see how far we get. You know, we, it's not nearly as, this stuff won't be as tedious as this and I'll probably be feeling better then. So hopefully we'll be able to push right through it and get it done. At the least, at the very least, we can get all of this done and then maybe save Wednesday for the shelves and a background if we decide to do one. I saw somebody in my coloring group, they took this page and they added all brick behind it. I thought that was interesting but I don't know that I uh, have the patience for that. Anyway, okay, so thank you so much for everybody coming by. I loved hanging out with you. You guys make it so that I can stream. Without you, there would be no stream. Um, so I will get to those messages on Instagram. If I don't get to them tonight, I will get to them tomorrow and I will send over uh, that coloring page for you. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything. So I'll post a picture of this tomorrow and yeah, we'll just plan on seeing you on Monday, Monday at 8 30 PM. And I will let you know if anything else comes up. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. And I will see you around. Have a great night.